I bet. Peppermint and gum and V8 don't go together. I'm almost positive. Let's find out. Just how behind I am. I haven't gotten my V8 yet. Mmm. This is a bad idea. Not bad. <laughs> Just put that right there for the rest of us. Hey, it's Friday. Week's over. Pretty much. I'm still here, though. 6.40 p.m. 74 degrees. Beautiful day. Why am I inside? It's so beautiful. I should have left three hours ago. Of course, I only arrived seven hours ago, so I guess if I want to put in a full day, that's not going to happen. There's a bitchin' party going on right now at the Wine Thief and the, the Ale Jail. It's probably so full with people that I'm just glad to not be there, but... There's a lot of people that I like there, though. So maybe I should have gone. I don't know. Anybody put any pictures up yet? No? Okay. There's another party tonight for Phil. Phil is 40. 40 with a PH. Isn't that clever? And it's also a combination 40th birthday, housewarming party, and it's got to be a engagement party because now Phil and Jackie are engaged. I'll be honest, I kind of thought they were already, but I don't keep track of that stuff. We need ice? I can bring ice. People don't actually look at their Facebook invitations the day of the party, do they? I like to just put random stuff out there, and then, uh, well, that's, that's kind of my thing, isn't it? I'm the random guy. I show up randomly, and... Randomness happens. Uh, I need some more veggies. I think this is just reminding me that I haven't eaten today. Have I? No, I have. I had a, a, a lime chili and shrimp and some other flavor. Marachan instant lunch. You gotta look at the garbage can to figure out what you've eaten today. That's it, though. There was just one of those periods where I sat here and did stuff, and then it was hours later, and I hadn't paid any attention to where the time was gone. But it's okay, because I don't get emails on Friday, so no one asks me to do anything. So basically, I'm catching up on stuff for me, I guess. Wow. Who knew? Uh, I'm chewing gum again, as we touched on yesterday, and as you noticed today. This comes in the way of my V8, though. I'm just going to finish this. Sorry about this. Okay. Ah, okay. How's my pin, by the way? Can you even see it? No. Just as well. I don't think it was right side up. Man, I'm a mess. I really should have some kind of plan when I start these things, right? Remember how it was 95 degrees two days ago? Last night, some of the extreme northern parts of Minnesota had their first frost. Ugh. And it begins. Although I'm told it'll be in the 80s this weekend, so there won't be any of that happening here. But I suppose it gets cold enough at night now that we got to pay attention to keeping our window open or else we're all going to get uh, that disease that people get, pneumonia. We don't want that. It's nice to have a cool house, but it's not nice to have pneumonia. You really gotta, it's, it's a balancing act. It's very delicate. But I got a comment on the W from Greg, which I've forgotten, and now I will look up again. On the subject of gum, Greg asks, obviously you're not taking, obviously you're not talking about the Packers was very lucky for them. Oh man, I forgot. There was a Packers game last night, and I forgot to talk about them. And I forgot to wear any Packers gear, and somehow they still won. I guess it helped that they were playing the Bears. Ha <laughs> ha, sorry Chicago fans. But, uh, man, are the 49ers really that much better? I guess they are. Somehow the Packers are going to have to find a way to beat them if it comes to that. 
I don't know. One on one. We'll see what happens. Uh, I feel better than I did on Monday, but there was still a lot of stuff going on that I wasn't happy about. So I, the Packers will probably improve. The injured will heal, and we'll see. Stay tuned for more Packers news. Hey, only is exactly seven weeks until basketball. And who knows how long until hockey if they're locked out again. What was the bubble gum from the past that had the juicy insides? I know I could look it up, but I'm not going to. Shipwreck offers chules. No, it is not chules. What Greg is thinking of, and I know because I had the picture in my mind, but I had to go on the internet and find it to match the picture in my mind to what it was because you cannot remember a name as boring as Freshen Up. But if you see a pack of Freshen Up and you see that cross section of the gum piece with the squishy little middle you will yeah you never forget it if you're of a certain age and I'm guessing how old are you shipwreck did you fill your birthday in 38 well you should know what freshen up is hmm I guess I should say Josh and not shipwreck but it's all interchangeable in the W there was another gun comment uh, on Facebook from Old friend, Amy, where is it? No, I can't find it. Amy Baxter said, You buy your soda in quantities of 24, and yet you avoid sugar in your gum. Well, Amy, you should know. I mean, these are all, these are all diet sodas, so there's no sugar in them. In fact, there's no calories in them. Look at that. This giant bottle, this giant bottle has zero calories. But it has... Uh, an ungodly amount of caffeine, which is why I'm drinking it. I guess it doesn't. If it were Pepsi, they would tell me how much caffeine was in it. I used to know how much caffeine was in this by heart, and I wouldn't have to look for a label to tell me. Doesn't matter. Wow, so a serving is one cup, eight ounces. So this is a three-serving bottle. That means three times zero. Actually, I don't even see the zero-calorie thing. I guess it's different labeling a bottle than labeling a can, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, all these sodas over here, we've done this before. Diet sodas, sugar-free, uh, sugar-free Cherry Pepsi, sugar-free Diet Dew, and sugar-free Dr. Pepper. And I'm so cheap that I can only buy in bulk when they're on sale, so that's why it's always 24 at a time. And look how healthy I am. These are low sodium, I know. The last time I pointed out that it was low sodium, I got an email from one of my stalkers, Paul, Paul, who told me that it was great that I was having low sodium V8, but did I know how much sodium are in my Chinese instant lunch? That's not the point. Sodium is what will kill me, though, because I'm not big on sugar, although I will have real sugar sodas, usually just on the weekends, though. What I need is booze. Maybe tonight. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm sure there will be booze at this party. Phil is uh, good with the booze. And also, good with the cigars. So there may be a cigar, too. I haven't had a cigar in years. Actually, I don't think I've had a cigar since the Packers won the Super Bowl. So what's that? That's like two years plus, right? One year? I don't know. I'm not much of a smoker, but I will have uh, the occasional cigar just to be social, mind you. Really, I would have, I have booze to be social, too. And boy, do I get social when I have booze. Let's see. This week, when you're watching the Sprint Cup, and you won't be because I believe it's when the football's on, uh, but look for David Reagan's car, because this week he's got the Shriners Hospitals on his car. A cause which is near and dear to my father, and therefore near and dear to me. Shriners Hospital is really one of the best charities, dollar for dollar, you can give your money to. Because they take care of sick kids, and the kids are charged absolutely nothing. And their families are charged absolutely nothing, it's totally free. Shriners Hospital, if you got some extra money to give to charity this weekend, go there. And then check out the number 34, why not? And, uh, or was it the number 38? Does Gilliland, does Gilliland have it or does Reagan have it? One of them has the Shriners Hospital. I could be totally wrong. That may be another race. Okay, forget I said anything. My time is up. 
So we'll never figure this out. Let's see. Shriners Hospital. Front row motorsports. You can hang on for another minute, can't you? The Sylvania 300. I don't think that's this weekend, so maybe it's later. Do, 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 do. This week is Distracted Driving, a government program, and it's a very distracting uh, paint scheme. They're not going to tell us what the year, what day it is. Oh, September 23rd. Okay, so that's a week from Sunday. Never mind. We'll talk about it next week. But, you know, go ahead and give the Shriners Hospital some money this week, and you can give it to them next week, too. Okay. We made it through another week. I can't believe it either. i got to stop doing these. I don't know. I'll try to continue through the rest of the year. Why not? That's my goal. Although I've achieved whatever goal I had planned on achieving by now, I think. Which was what? I don't know. I can think about this on my own, though. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's cut this out. Thanks for watching. Comment at will. You know how to reach me. I'm in all these places. And CRZ.net. I love you, and I'll see you next week, uh, I expect. We'll see.